Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplet Book Club. This July we have a book that is very fitting for the season, Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrand. While this is another Nantucket Beach read, Ellen has taken us back to a historical summer in this novel, which as it turns out is the same summer that she was born. Beach reads aren't so much a genre as they are a label for any book that is engrossing and fun to read, which is exactly what this is, so let's get into it. Summer of 69 follows a cast of women over a very hectic summer. There's the mother, Kate, who has just turned 48, and her three daughters, Blair, Kirby, and Jessie, who are 24, 21, and 13. These four all act as narrators in the story, and there are also a lot of side characters that help move the narrator's plots along. Kate is on the cusp of taking over as the matriarch of the family. Her own mother, Exalta, is the unquestionable ruler of the household, but she's in the twilight years of her life, so her quiet abdication is leaving Kate grasping at the last threads of her dependency. There's a lot of change happening around her due to her four children growing up, including her only son, Tiger, who has just been drafted into the Vietnam War. Her husband, David, is also pushing for her to separate herself from her mother. Throughout the book, Kate is grappling with who she is as an individual, along with the anxiety of potentially losing her son, and her guilt around the circumstances of her first husband's death. Blair is soon to be a mother of twins, but she doesn't feel ready for this big addition to her life. She's married to an astrophysicist named Angus, who is helping with the Apollo 11 mission, and his job has given them a pretty comfortable life. However, since they've been married, Angus has kept Blair away from the career that she's dreamed of, often leaving her home alone. She loves her husband and is very proud of his work, but she just can't get him to understand her position. So between her isolation and pregnancy, she's becoming increasingly despondent and wondering what her life might have been like if she had married someone else. Kirby is the problem child in the family. A junior in college, she is often going to anti-war protests and speaking her mind about politics and civil issues. After a short and impulsive relationship in the spring, Kirby's looking to improve herself over the summer, so she decides to go to Nantucket's neighboring island of Martha's Vineyard, where she lives with a group of young women and works at a hotel. While there, she meets a friend of a friend, a handsome black man named Darren. While Kirby herself has no qualms with an interracial relationship, she does struggle with its viability in the current social climate. Kirby finds spending the summer away from family more difficult than expected as she reconsiders who she has been and who she wants to be. Jessie has just turned 13 and is faced with the end of her childhood. With Tiger deployed, she is the last kid in the house. But with Kate worried about her older children and David busy with his job as a lawyer, she's mostly left to figure things out on her own. While on Nantucket, she develops a crush on the house caretaker's grandson, Pick. She also writes letters to Tiger, who is the sibling that she feels closest to, and becomes frustrated with Exalta, who she is convinced is anti-Semitic. Overall, Jessie is dealing with a lot of emotions, which is normal for that age, but unfortunately, she doesn't have anyone to discuss them with. Despite all the significant events that happen over the summer of 1969 that are mentioned in the novel, none of them really influence the story that much. There also isn't a focus on feminism, which one might assume based on the main cast of characters. Instead, the main theme of the book is the process of growing up and moving from one stage of life to another. For Kate and Blair, this heavily involves motherhood and the challenges that come along with that. For Kirby, it's moving from the obstreperousness of youth to a more mature personification of her ideals. Jessie is experiencing her first crush and she's also learning to understand that those around her have full lives separate from what she personally sees interacting with them. That, I think, was personally my favorite part of the book. The first realization that a friend or a family member has much deeper thoughts and emotions than is readily apparent is a big turning point in life and allows you to really open your mind to everything happening around you, which in turn also creates an environment for critical thinking and empathy to develop. Okay, on to discussion questions. Please answer any of these or give your own thoughts in the comments below. Were you alive during the summer of 1969? And if so, did this book seem realistic to you? Did the song titles trigger any memories for you? Summer of 69 is a story of family, of mothers and children. Compare and contrast Kate and Exalta. What are they like as mothers? How do mother and daughter change as the summer progresses? 
This novel is also a story of relationships. What do you think about the bond, or lack thereof, between Jessie and her grandmother? What changes during the summer? Does Jessie change more than Exalta, or vice versa? What are your thoughts on Blair's marriage and pregnancy? How would her pregnancy and relationship with her husband be viewed today? Ellen Hildebrand tends to write main characters from multiple generations. Which character did you find the most relatable and why? Were there any characters whose perspectives were not in the book that you would have liked to read? A quote from the book states, In that moment, what Blair wants more than anything is not to be defined by other people. Like Blair, was there ever a time in your life when you felt defined by your role more than your individual self? And was that a positive or a negative experience for you? So what did you think of the book overall? This book was dramatic and a quick and easy read, but it was a bit too fluffy for my taste. Ellen broached some pretty serious topics, but gave her characters enough privilege to pretty easily brush past them. If you prefer this type of engrossing yet light novel, though, then you'll enjoy the rest of Ellen's 20-plus novels, the newest of which released last month, 28 Summers. If you haven't read these yet, you can find Summer of 69, 28 Summers, and other titles by Ellen Hildebrand in both physical and digital formats at laurel.org, Overdrive, and Libby. And if you do want a physical copy, our libraries are now open again to the public for express service, so feel free to come in and say hi when you pick it up. Thank you for watching this video. Please discuss this book in the comments below and stop by next month for the discussion of The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. Have a great day!